Today, I survived 100 days in hardcore Minecraft, except it wasn't in your typical Minecraft world. Instead, I survived 100 days in this insane survival sky world with hundreds of islands to explore. I also played this map in the new 1.20 update, so all the new features will be in this world. This video took an insane amount of time to film and edit, so I would really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are super close to 8,000 subscribers, and I'd like to hit it before the end of the year, so it means a lot to me if you guys could subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Day one, I spun into the world and I ended up observing my surroundings, looking at all the islands and figuring out what I want to do first. We got two sheep here and three trees. I don't think there's going to be anything too valuable on this island, so I should try to travel as quickly as possible. All right, so replanting these trees, ooh, an apple, uh, replanting these trees are going to be the key thing to do right now and that's exactly what i did i kept breaking a bunch of trees and replanting them and once i did that i decided mining would be my next priority but before i did that i realized i need some essential tools before i could start mining so i made my first pickaxe all right so now we are going to do some mining <laughs> get some cobblestone all right, so I'm trying to get a bunch of blocks here. And ooh, some coal. After doing some mining, I went ahead and made some stone tools and decided to chop down some more trees. I ran into a bit of a problem. I'm gonna need some food. Wait, where did... Was there not two sheep here at the start? Did he fall in the hole? He fell in the hole! Sheep, what are you doing, man? It's probably safer down here, not gonna lie. I, mean, I can't blame him. I can't blame him. There's a bit of a problem. You know, we're on this island and I'm low on food and it's already night. So I start venturing out. I'm making sure to be very, very careful here because I do not want to fall into the void. Okay, we made it. I, oh my gosh, there's a creeper. And a skeleton. Nope, we're out. We're out. You guys, yeah, come over here so I can hit you off the edge. Oh, that was close. Okay, we got Take care of you and take care of you. No, oh, he's running. He knows my plan. Get back here. Off the edge you go. Off the edge you go. You want some? Why is there so many zombies? The oh my gosh. Oh. He's riding a chicken. Dude, I forgot how difficult hardcore is. Where did you come from? Okay, um, who are you? Oh, you're the chicken one. Or no, you're the chicken dude. Okay. Why are there so many babies, bro? After fighting all those zombies, I ended up finding this. Yo, is that iron? Let's go. All right, so since I have two iron now, I'm considering, do I use this to make some shears? I think it's worth it. Okay, give me your wool so I can actually sleep. There we go. All right, it's morning. Um, how you doing, George? Oh, hello, man! Yeah. Uh, well, we'll make a ladder. Um, if I can remember how to do that. There we go. Make some ladders. You know, we kind of have like a underground base here now, which is pretty cool. Yes, come here, please. No, 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 no. That could have been a lot worse, so I'm not complaining. So I now started to go ahead and clear out some mobs, and I noticed an Enderman on top of that tree, so I definitely had to go kill that. Crap, 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 crap. Holy crap. He's a psycho. Ugh, I gotta heal. Oh my gosh. It was worth it though. We, we got an ender pearl. Very much worth it. After that, I ended up breaking down some trees and killing some chickens for some more food and even started to clean off the bridge and by the end of all of that, the day was finally over. Day three, I started to plant some of the seeds I had and then I went to go get some more wood. So I'm actually gonna take this tree out. All right, maybe I'll replant it somewhere else, I don't know. And then, ooh, this is a great idea. I totally forgot you could do this. But we'll have tons of building blocks here. 
Yeah, I kind of have a cool idea. We could use like leaves and make like a leaf bridge, like maybe to there. But my main two goals for this video is to defeat the Ender Dragon and the Wither. So hopefully we can do that. I then started to make a pen so all the sheeps would be in one place. And this was the finished result. After that, I went back to the other island and started gathering more seeds to expand the farm. I then started to plant the farm, and once I was finished with that, the day was finally over. Day 4, I fought a zombie but almost died. No, 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 no. I then got some more leaves, and then I made my way to the next island. Alright, I'm gonna start making my way to that island. I believe we have found our first water source. There were tons of pigs and cows on this island, but nothing else too valuable. After that, I went to go and expand the bridge so I wouldn't accidentally walk off the edge. With the leaves, it was actually looking pretty good. Alright, so this is kind of what I have just for now. I think we'll expand this more later. Uh, I do want to go ahead and explore more. Before I get to like building a bunch of stuff so I think what we're gonna do is head to this huge like water ball looking thing and for the rest of the day I decided to go ahead and get some leaves so I could go ahead and travel to the next island day 5 I actually started to bridge over to the next island but then I noticed something yo there's iron this is gonna be super helpful Ooh, tons of iron Let's go. Look at all of this. So much. I ended up getting 17 pieces of iron, so I knew I had to smelt that immediately. Alright, so what do I want to do with this 12 iron? I can make some armor. I don't know. I can make a shield. A shield is probably going to be helpful for sure. No, I'll make a chest plate, just because I don't want to die the next time I see a mob. After that, I continued traveling to the island, and finally I made it. Dude, no way. We found one, holy, okay. Please give me this. Dude, we found one. This is actually insane, we actually found one. There are actually wither skulls all at different islands around the map, so I was super happy that I found one. Day 6, I saw a skeleton dying, and I knew this was the perfect opportunity to make some bone meal. I used that bone meal to grow some of the plants so I could get some wheat and breed the sheep. I then started to look out at all the other islands, and I eventually saw a village island, and I knew that was definitely where I needed to go next. Day 7 and 8, I literally just spent the entire time getting a bunch of leaves, breaking down some trees to get more wood, and harvesting the farm. I also gave George a makeover and ended up dyeing him red, and I think he liked that. Why are you bullying me? After George was done complaining, I decided on day 9 I would start traveling over to the village island, but I ended up seeing a birch island on the way and decided to stop over at it. I decided to grab some birch wood from there and even some saplings so I could start planting them back at my home base and then I continued my journey. It took me quite a while to get there and I even needed some ladders to climb up to the village but eventually I finally made it. I ended up resting at the village and it was finally day 10 so I decided to take the day and just explore the entire village. I ended up finding the farm and there was tons of wheat that I could take. This was super helpful. Unfortunately, my live reaction did not record here, but I ended up finding the secret basement with a secret villager down there, so I knew I had to get in here. So I ended up making a button. Once I got inside, I ended up taking his anvil, but the villager got a little mad. Anyways, once we settled our disagreement, he ended up letting me trade with him and he had this insane pickaxe. Unfortunately, it cost one bedrock and three diamonds, so I somehow needed to get those things. Anyways, after exploring some more and killing a few pigs along the way, it was probably going to be dark soon, so I decided I should head back. Day 11, I started to expand the island so I could go ahead and make a bigger farm. 
and I just realized I completely forgot all of the water. That's probably why nothing is growing that fast. All right, we need a bucket. While I'm at it, I'm probably gonna make an infinite water source. I'm pretty sure this is already an infinite water source because I can pretty much just take water. I will probably make an infinite water source here anyways, just so I don't have to go running over there every time. For the rest of the day, I pretty much was just working on this farm and adding water to it so the plants would grow faster, and I even expanded the island just a little bit more. Day 12, I continued to expand the farm, and it was finally complete. Alright, I think this is good enough for the farm, and yeah, it's looking pretty good. For the rest of day 12 and day 13, I decided to do some mining so I could go ahead and get enough iron to have a full set of iron armor. Finally, some iron. All right, so I went back to the other island and we're gonna be mining here more because there was tons of iron the first time I was here. So we'll definitely have to see that, you know, maybe we'll go to the nether. I didn't even see that, let's go. More iron, see this is what I'm talking about, that's why I went back to this other island. I even ended up finding some gold, so I was super happy with that. All right, so we have a grand total of 21 iron ingots, so we are gonna go ahead and make our first official set of iron armor, which is huge. Honestly, I didn't think I'd get it this fast. And just like that, we had full iron armor on day 14 so i decided to save the rest of the iron for later after making the armor i decided to head back to the village island so i could go ahead and grab some of the crops and there's absolutely nothing here nice i got pretty mad so i decided to fight an iron golem kind of feel bad about it now where is he he can't get me here can he yeah he can't get me here Are we good? Uh, you, you didn't see anything, okay? Nope. Yeah, all right. But we're gonna snag these bookshelves. They can be used for an enchantment room I'm gonna make, so I'll probably forget about these. That's why I'm grabbing them now. The rest of the day, I got some wood, and before I knew it, the day was finally over. Day 15, I started to harvest the farm again, and then I wanted to gather some leaves so I could go ahead and travel to another island, but something unexpected happened. And I do want to make a house, but first I want to explore one more island. You know, I want to get a bunch of good loot, and the only way we're going to do that is by venturing out into all of these different islands. Before we do that, I actually want to go ahead and get some more leaves so I can go ahead and bridge over. Dude, where did these guys come from? What? Dude, wait, seriously, where did they come from? I'm so good. How did, how did you get here? Um, you had, you, you, you could, you do. Well, do you have anything good for me, at least? If you're gonna be, you know, you can, you can stay here. But Okay, so he doesn't have anything like that valuable. And I don't have any emeralds. You know, you, you can live. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away. Yes, sir. You know I'm just gonna leave you be. All right, you do your thing. No, you're not going to my island. That's hey, no, you're not allowed here. Dude, you know what? <laughs> He's literally taking over my base. No llama! Oh my god! Yo, we gotta save the llama. So, I couldn't save the llama? Yeah. You know what? For the safety of the other llama, I'm expanding this bridge. Because that, that villager, I forget what he's called. He literally has like two brain cells, bro. Oh, and just like that, he made me waste my entire day trying to save his llama that ended up dying. Just perfect, just perfect. After pretty much wasting a day, I spent some of day 16 gathering some more leaves. And then I started to travel over to another island. I always forget how long it takes just to get to this village. Perfect, a villager is actually doing their job. Nice. Alright, so there's a bunch of islands around here. And 
I think I want to go to this one. I think this is one huge island. I think they're all connected. If not, they're just really close to each other, but I'm going to start heading over there. Uh, it's, uh, it's already the end of the day, but I think I'll just spend the night here and we'll head in the morning. And just like that, I started building over to the next island and I finally made it. We made it. We're finally on this island. All right. So there's a bunch of cows here. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll snag a few of you. Ooh, some sand. All right. I don't like sand. I'm going to get a bunch of this because I do want to start working on my house soon and I can make windows with some sand. And I'm pretty much just going to grab anything that looks useful here. So, yeah. Yo, that pirate ship. It's huge. Yeah, I definitely have to go here next. Like, how could I miss this? And there's probably a wither skeleton head in there, too. There's going to be a wither skull anywhere in this map. It's, there's gotta be one there, you know? What is that? That is also something I gotta check out. And it's one of the battle towers. I know there's a few battle towers around here, I'm pretty sure. But the loot is supposed to be super good at those, so... That's also a place I definitely have to check out. Ooh, some pumpkins. This could be useful. We found more sand. I'll, I'll just take a little bit of it. But there's an enderman over I'll definitely keep some here, but I can start a farm back at the house. It'll be super useful, especially with making like an enchantment room or something. All right, so where did... There's the Enderman. All right, we're going to try to kill the Enderman. Where are you, bro? Ah! Yes! Let's go. All right, we have two Ender Pearls. This is insane. Probably gonna take a while to get back, but I'll see you on the next day. Day 19, I was about to start working more on the farm, but this happened. Wait, what? Why is the lead here? Dude, how did how did you even get in here? Why did you go in here? Huh? Yeah, I guess I have to move this since he has no brain cells whatsoever. Come on. No, don't. She, no, look Look what you've done. They're all escaping. 2,000 years later. Finally, we got them back in. Now, where did this guy go? Did, did you see him? No. So, I never saw him again. Yeah. Llama, your, your name is Kevin, all right? Kevin the Llama. All right, buddy. After all that nonsense, I pretty much started to gather some more dirt so I could go ahead and expand the island more. I did that so I could go ahead and start farming some sugar canes, and that took a little while to set up. And then it was finally complete. At the beginning of day 20, I decided to head back to the newest island I just explored a few days ago. And for the rest of day 20 and day 21, I did some intense mining. Alright, so we just made it back to the island and I'm going to do some mining here. Dude, emeralds already. This, this is a good find right here. And just like that, we found redstone. This is great. Tons of redstone. There goes my pickaxe. And I really didn't bring any up. Can I, can I still mine this? No, I can't. That's a bad idea. Dude, I literally have to travel all the way back just to get some iron. Okay, I made an iron pickaxe. Now, I can finally get all this. Yes, lapis. Diamonds. Dude, let's go. I mean, it's just, I think it's just one. Just give me this, yes. Gold. Dude, there's, I'm literally finding everything. This is insane. After doing all that mining, I headed back to my base and I started to smell all the ores that I found. And on day 22, they were finally finished. All right, so now that we have all this, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade some of my tools, so. I'm gonna get an iron sword right here. I'm also gonna make an iron axe. I won't make a pickaxe just yet since I still have this one, but this should be good enough for now. All right, so I think what I wanna do next is build a proper home. So I pretty much spent the rest of day 22 gathering some wood so I could go ahead and build my house, which takes me into day 23 where I start to smelt the sand so I could go ahead and get some glass for some windows. And then I decided I was going to start working on a bridge. All right, so since there's 
an island over there, a bridge going this direction, the farm's kind of over there. The house is going to be in this direction. So we will have something like this. I wanna have like some wood. I wanna make this look nice, you know? All right, so I kinda have something like this going. Actually, forget all of this. I have a brand new idea. A few moments later. All right, so I think this new design is looking pretty good so far. Although this bridge is taking much longer than I thought it would take. All right, so I kind of got this nice bridge design going on here. It looks pretty nice. And I just realized we need a lot more dirt. So for the rest of day 24, I started gathering a bunch of dirt so I could go ahead and start making a brand new island. Okay, so now I have a lot more dirt, so we are going to start making kind of like my own island. All right, so this island I built is complete. All right, so because we have so much cobblestone, I actually think I wanna make my house out of cobblestone. And just like that, on days 26 to 34, yes, eight days, I started working on my house. On day 26, that was the beginning, I started working on the outline for the house. The design of this house was actually inspired by a video I saw, so the link to that will be in the description down below. But yeah, I pretty much started building the main outline of this house. But once the main structure of my house was completed, I started working on kind of a balcony you can go up to for my house. After that, I started working on the roof of the house, which was kind of the tricky part, but my house was starting to look really good once it was complete. So then I started filling in the inside of the roof, and then I started to add some more details around the house, just to make it look a little nicer. After that, I started to add in more things to the inside of the house, and I also started to decorate the house as well. And by the end of day 34, the house was finally looking complete. Alright, so I'm going to give you all a house tour, but first I want to move my llama. I want to move him by the house. I think I named you Kevin? I don't know. Sorry if that's not your name. Look at this bridge. The bridge looks really nice in my opinion, but this house just looks fantastic. Nice. Kevin is going to go right here, all right? Help me! All right, so this is the completed house. This is probably one of my favorite houses I've built in a really long time. Go ahead and just look around this house. So we got a bunch of windows, we got leaves all around here, and yeah, it's looking really nice. Let's go ahead and show you guys around. So, you know, this is the front entrance, all right. Got this nice carpet right here, a crafting table, a chest, and you come under here. This is the bottom of some stairs, but it's probably where I'm going to keep most of my items. Got a large chest right here. Got some furnaces so we can go ahead and cook up some good food. Then if we walk up these stairs here, this is the upstairs. You know, we got a table right here. The bed, some nice carpet, another chest, a nice little plant right here. And then we pretty much got the balcony here. Now this looks really cool. You can kind of just see all these islands around. See the islands over there. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the house. Now, one thing to consider is that it is 98% done because I did not show you guys this room because I don't really know what to do with it. Well, I kind of do. I'm thinking of adding an enchantment room in here. I think that'd be pretty cool. But I mean, yeah, this house is looking pretty nice. And you know what? We're going to just work on the enchantment room now because why not? Before we're able to actually make the enchantment room, we don't really have the resources to make it so we're gonna need a lot of leather we're gonna need more cows and I'm also gonna have to harvest way more sugar cane so I can go ahead and make some paper so I started to travel over to the next island to get more cows for leather but I soon realized that I was also going to need some diamonds to go ahead and mine obsidian and so I could make the enchantment table so I actually spent the rest of day 35 killing some cows for some leather. 
And then I spent days 36 to 37 actually mining, looking for diamonds. Yes, yes, yes. This was what I was targeting and we got it. Please be more than one. Why is there not more than one? Hey, you know what? It's fine. It may just be one diamond, but one is better than none. Unfortunately, that was the last diamond I found because I literally found absolutely nothing after that. <laughs> Day 38, I started gathering some crops so I could go ahead and make a small little farm on the other island. After that, I got some fences for the cows and started building a stable. And on day 39, it was complete. After that, I got a little bit off track and started to transfer some stuff into my new house. I then got some more wood and some leaves because it was time to travel to a new island. Then made it back to the village when I noticed some bookshelves in this house that I'd never found before. I then decided to do some last minute mining, but I ended up only finding some lapis. Alright, so I've traveled back to my base, and one thing I want to do is make a bow and arrow. Bang. I also ended up having a good amount of arrows from killing a bunch of skeletons. I was now officially ready to travel to a new island. Okay, so I think we are going to be building to that sphere island. And it's going to be dangerous because I really don't know what to expect. Okay, so I did not realize how high up I am. So, alright, we made it. We're on top of this thing, but I think I want to go more towards the bottom. And, oh my gosh, there's so many mobs. There are so many mobs. This was a mistake. There are too many of them. This was a very, very big mistake. Oh my gosh. Off the edge, off the edge, bro. No! Why are there so many mobs? This is insane. No, 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 no. No! Out of here. Okay. So I've literally just sat here the entire night. You know what? We're gonna go up. We're gonna go in here, and hopefully there's something here for us. I already hear mobs. Oh no. J just get out of here. Oh my gosh. We're literally breaking my shield. Dude, I'm so low. I'm so low. Yeah, I'm just gonna break in through the top. Forget this, man. Dude, what is this? What is this? There's so many zombies. See, this was so much easier. Why did I not do this from the start? But anyways, there's a chest here. Dude, this has everything I need. This was so worth coming here. Four diamonds, iron horse armor, a saddle, and another iron sword. Now, you know, I'll even take the chest too. Bro, this is so worth coming here. You know, if you, I just gotta keep going to like these weird looking islands. After experiencing all of that though, I think I'm gonna wait on going to there. And you know what? Just because we are passing some obsidian now, I am making my first ever diamond pickaxe in this mode. Let's go. Yes. But what is inside of here? Hold up. Bedrock? Maps? Dude, I can get... Can I get that OP? There's an OP pickaxe at the village. I then spent day 42 gathering some more leather and then trying to figure out what to do with the bedrock. Okay, so I know this bedrock piece is very valuable. So I think I'm going to save it because I could get that pickaxe, but I would have to use the remainder of my diamonds. But I want to just get my enchantment room complete first. All right, so we're gonna work on gathering some resources to make an enchantment room. So I started to gather some more wood, and then I had to take out some cows so I could go ahead and get more leather. No, he's escaping. Get in, yeah, you, you get back in. I then started to craft and gather everything I needed. And I already have 42 books. So, I don't really know how much any bookshelves I'll be able to make with that. How many can I make? 14! 
We just need one more. 15 bookshelves. Bang. Alright, we can- we can make it. Bang. Alright, and now we pretty much have everything we need. Now that I pretty much had everything I needed, I then spent the next two days figuring out what type of design I wanted for my enchantment room. I soon realized that the room I made was not big enough for your standard enchantment room design, so I pretty much had to improvise on what to do. Okay, so I think I came up with a decent idea, because I really don't feel like messing around with the house and like expanding it more so we're gonna do something like this we'll keep those bookshelves here this gives us half it needs to be at 30 for max so we're gonna go this way okay it's working and then 30 okay i'm gonna put like some slabs up here you know make it look a little nicer put the anvil Alright, so I went ahead and made an item frame and a chest, so we're going to keep like some lapis here. And overall, I think this looks pretty nice. Now that the enchantment room was complete, I started off day 45 by harvesting the crops. And then I went back to my old base and took all the valuable items in there to move to my new house. I then decided to use the gold that I had to go ahead and make a golden apple just in case I ever got close to dying I'd have it. After that I went to go get some more building blocks but there were tons of mobs on this island so I had to go kill them all. After I took care of them I started gathering leaves so I could travel to the new island. All right, so we're gonna start bridging over to this new island. Dude, look at all these islands over here. What is that? Bro, I gotta get over here, man. Okay, we finally made it. Now, I'm not expecting too much out of this island right here. I did bring some iron, so I'm gonna make shears so I can get more leaves. So many. All right, so now, since there's nothing really here, I'm just gonna start bridging towards that island. Bridge is kind of weird. It curves a lot, but it's good. We made it, but is there anything special here? But look at all of these islands, dude. There's so many. Uh, I did see that one when I was at the village island. So we could bridge over there, or we could check out all of this. Is that diamond? I'm pretty sure that is a diamond block, unless I'm just imagining it. You know what, I have, I have to go check it out, I just have to. You know what, I'll check this out on the next day. So I ended up traveling back to my house. On day 46, I made it back to the island so I could go ahead and bridge to the next one. Alright, so we're gonna once again start heading over. Alright, I already see some gold. It looks like a really good island for mining. On days 46 and 47, I spent just doing some mining, and I pretty much found every type of ore you can think of. Not only that, but I found diamonds, and even some redstone. I also explored the island more and found some dark oak wood, so I decided to take some. I also found this weird looking structure, but I decided to stay away from that. Then continued to do some mining and found some more ores even another diamond. After I finished mining, it was already dark, so it was time to head back to my base. Day 48, I started off by smelting some of the ores I gathered. After that, I planted the dark oak saplings that I had. I then decided it would be a great opportunity to start building an XP farm, especially since I had completed my enchantment room already. Okay, so I think I'm going to come over to the left of my house and kind of build a small little platform. I used all the dirt I had to build a new small island. Once that was completed, I started to build up exactly 100 blocks, and then I would start building the actual farm itself. Once that was complete, I built a small platform on top, and then I decided that I did not want to make the farm out of cobblestone. I gathered up all the cobblestone that I had and I started smelting it in the furnace and I decided that I would make some stone bricks out of it. 
While I waited for more cobblestone to smelt, I decided to grab more cobblestone so I'd have a lot, enough to complete this XP farm. After all that, I started to actually build the XP farm, but I quickly ran out of blocks so I had to go get some more. Also, the video I'm using to build this XP farm will be linked down in the description below. Once I got some more blocks, I actually crafted some hoppers and some chests so I could go ahead and use that for the farm. I pretty much had the lower part of the farm completed. After that, I started to build the floors of the XP farm as well as some of the walls. I also had to go back and forth between my house and the XP farm to go ahead and get more blocks. I then started to expand the XP farm more. And I started to build more walls, but I ran out of blocks. Unfortunately, I had to do even more mining, and it took forever. After all that, I continued to build the farm. I then placed some water so when the mob spawned, they would flow down to the bottom of the farm. After that was finished, I placed down a bunch of trap doors above the water. And then I worked on the final part of the XP farm, which was the roof. I unfortunately ran out of blocks again, so I had to do even more mining. After all that, I finally finished the top part of the roof, and then I went to go craft some slabs, which would go on the top and sides. And finally, the XP farm was complete. And I started to test out the XP farm, and it was working very well. Day 64 through 65 I spent at the XP farm gathering as much XP as I possibly could. Day 66 I decided to craft a diamond sword and it was now time to enchant my gear. Alright so I think I'll start by enchanting my diamond pickaxe to efficiency 4. Wait I, it gave me silk touch. And next is going to be the diamond sword. So unbreaking 3 is the level 30 enchant also gave me sweeping edge three i'm also gonna enchant some of this armor honestly i think i'm just gonna wait to enchant the rest of my armor okay so i think what i want to do next is actually go to the nether honestly i kind of completely forgot about it since i was building all of this stuff but what we're gonna need is some lava i can definitely hear some okay so i found something here all right so i found a lava pool here I think this should be enough. Now that I had a lava pool, I turned it all into obsidian so I could go ahead and build a nether portal. Alright, so just for time purposes, we are going to build the nether portal over here. And I don't want it to be, like, fancy or anything like that. Because I really just don't want to waste any more time than I need to. Make some flint and steel. Alright, it's complete, so let's go in. Unfortunately, I didn't realize how stressful this was gonna be. Oh my gosh, I'm already getting chased. But you know, we're just gonna find a fortress and get out of here. And while I'm here, I'm gonna grab some glowstone. And I'll also grab some quartz. Yo, who's this guy? Eternal bow? What is this, bro? Dude, this is an insane trade. But we found this. I think this is... Oh gosh. Stay back! They're chasing me. And there's a gas. There we go. Dude, these things are insane. Killed those, but I'm just gonna sneak past them. I'm gonna kill some magma cubes. Bro, there's so many wither skeletons. Dude, I'm actually gonna die. Okay, so I kind of retreated over here, and I see some blazes, so... Of course there's no blaze rod. Dude, I'm at one and a half hearts. Wait, I hit the piglin, I'm so dead. Bro, this couldn't be going any worse. Look at all of these. You know what, I'm out of here. All right, so pretty much I've just waited here because there's no way I could have gotten past them. So we're gonna come out. Are we good guys? Yes, sir. So now we need to kill some blaze. Pretty sure I saw over here. Oh gosh. Okay, we're building like a platform here. And there's Blaze behind me. Okay, so we have this defense right here. Because they can't hit me now. Never mind, apparently they can. Eventually. Alright guys, so I pretty much returned to my house. I have bread now. I'm literally running out of food. Yo, is that the villager? We're making a boat, okay? And we're getting you 
We are getting you back to my base, where it's actually safe. There we go. There we go, okay. He should be safe now. I will deal with him later. But yeah, we're going back in. For the next three days, I was pretty much fighting blazes to get some blaze rods. I also ended up trading with some piglin for ender pearls. Ender pearls, yes! After that, I realized my armor broke, so I had to do some quick mining, and then I was able to make some more armor. I then returned to the nether and got the rest of the blaze rods I needed. They're stewed. They've gotta chill. Bro, would they just die already? <laughs> Alright, so I'm pretty sure I actually have enough, because I have two more at my base, so... We're gonna head back. Alright, so we're back. I made more food, and... I should have enough blaze rods to make some hive enders. Okay, so I have exactly enough, I'm pretty sure. Now there's actually an end island. Yes, an end island in this map. And there should be an end portal there. So I don't really have to find a stronghold. But yeah, now I just need some ender pearls and I should be good. Honestly, I'm probably gonna go do some more trades. I did some trades, but I literally got nothing. We're going home. I'm literally never coming here again. I then proceeded to take out some cows because I needed more food. And I spent the rest of the day cooking them. Day 77, it was time to travel to a new island. Alright, so I'm gonna be looking for the end island, and we're just gonna be traveling around. Alright, we grabbed that, but... I'm gonna be traveling there, and I'm either gonna branch off to that island, or go there. I don't really know yet. And we made it! Let's see if there's anything interesting here. I mean, there's probably some good mining. So I think I'm gonna travel to this bigger island. Is that the cherry blossom tree? Hold up, we gotta get over here, man. We made it. Dude, there's cherry blossom trees. I've like never seen these before since it's in the 1.20 update. And yeah, there's not really a lot here. What else is here though? There's a lot of horses. There's like an island beneath this one. Honestly though, I wanted to start getting some of these cherry blossom trees. So I started gathering a bunch of the cherry blossom wood and sapling. Okay, so I have a good amount of saplings. I'm gonna head back to the base. All right, so I think what I wanna do now is start planting these saplings. So I think I'm gonna put one like right here. So I continued to plant some saplings so there'd be plenty of these cherry trees all around the island. So since I have this villager right here, we can also go ahead and get more villagers at the village island. But I think I want to like build a village. I don't know, I feel like that'd be cool. So I started to bridge out so I could go ahead and build a new island for the village. I then started to actually build the island platform. I did have to collect some more dirt, but the island was finally complete. I then started working on building a village house, and I wasn't really that sure on what design to go with. I eventually ran low on blocks, but luckily the saplings I planted grew, so I was able to get some more. I then started working on the outline of the house, and I started adding some windows in, as well as some other details. Once those were in, I started building a roof. But then, something strange happened. Alright, so I was just getting more wood, and then this guy appears. Another one of these dudes. So we're blocking this off, so none of the llamas die. His trades are really bad but you know what he can live here that's fine but this is what the house is looking like so far yeah i just want to make some signs dude i love honestly i really like this pink color all right this is larry's house and yeah um congratulations all right so i am going to name you fred and we're gonna go ahead and move you next to larry all right you you're free, Fred. All right, so I ended up building a completely new house. I wanted a smaller design, so I pretty much went with this. If we go in here, as you can see, we have some windows. You know, the ceiling I should probably fix up. Still a few mistakes with it, but I'm gonna add an extra layer right here. I'm also gonna add another window here. But yeah, this house is looking much better and Larry already moved into it. Going to add his name to it right here. Still gotta build Fred a house. So I guess his house can go somewhere next to here. But yeah, I would like to make a whole village like this with tons of houses, more villagers. So if I decide to do a 200 days in this world, I will definitely make that. So let me know if you guys wanna see it. Alright, so time is kind of running out, but there is an end island 
somewhere out there. So what we're going to be doing is actually traveling there. So I am going to quickly get prepared here. I'm just going to pick some random enchants, get some more protection. I actually got some feather falling on these boots, so it's pretty good. I'm also going to take this bedrock with just in case I run into a villager or something. But I think we're going to travel back up to this XP farm and kill some skeletons so I can go ahead and get more arrows. Also got to restock on some food right here. And yeah, it's now time to travel to the end island. Honestly, I have no idea where it is, so we're going to kind of have to look for it. Alrighty guys, so I made it back to this island, which is right from, which is right next to the village island. But I was looking around this island and I actually did find an N island. I think there's some multiple N islands, but hopefully this one has the end portal there. But yeah, I'm excited to fight the ender dragon. Okay, so we finally made it in the sky literally turned purple this honestly looks so cool and i just realized i literally forgot all the ender pearls and all the blaze rods uh, i'll be right back so apparently i don't even have enough ender pearls and there was none over there so i literally just have to go kill some endermen so i went to go hunt down some endermen and also gather some more food and during the night there were some more endermen on the end island so I was able to get more pearls there. And finally, I had enough ender pearls. Yes. It was finally time to go to the end. I'm nervous to place this. We made it. It is time to battle. Yes. No. Dude, I almost died. I actually almost died. Oh, crap. No! I, re I underestimated this dragon. Finally! Dude, why? Leave me alone, please. Why are they so mad? Yo, I don't think I can do this. I'm literally out of food. Go here again? I don't know. I don't care, I'm eating the apple. Well, I'm using the new pearl thing here. It is time to attack. Let's do this. Alright, so the dragon just destroyed me, and I just have this apple left. I also forgot the bed, so what am I thinking, man? Nope, I'm dead. I'm literally dead. There's no way out of this. You're telling me I had this here. This entire time. People watching this video, you're probably screaming at me right now. I gotta kill him with the bow. It's the only way. We almost got him. He's so close to dying. Yes, one more hit. Yes! 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Dude, look at all the XP. Okay, we're actually gonna wait to go to the end city because I'm out of food and I'm about to die. Alright, so we are back and I need to go get some more food. So I actually waited till the next day and I did make some food. Unfortunately, I was low on armor and it was about to break, but I knew I'd be getting some new armor at the end city. I ended up spending the rest of the day getting some more food. Day 89, I traveled back over to the end portal so I could go ahead and look for the end city. Fortunately, I had some ender pearls left over so I could go ahead and get into the portal. Now, where do we go is the question. I see some of those plant things or whatever, I forget what they're called, but I guess we'll head over there. I then started to bridge over in that direction. Actually, if I'm gonna get the elytra, I might as well just use these ender pearls. I mean, I teleport, but no, I should've just, I, I completely forgot about these. I should've just came here immediately. And for a while, I decided to go ahead and gather a bunch of those plants so I'd have a lot of food. I also went ahead and gathered some more blocks. Day 90, I pretty much spent the entire day just trying to find an end city, and I pretty much had to run for hundreds of blocks. Wait, I actually see it. It's right there. And I finally found the end city. 
Now that I found the end city, I ended up gathering a few more ender pearls. I was now ready to start traveling over to the end city. So I'm probably just gonna go bridge the rest of the way. Just cause I don't wanna mess up using the ender pearls. And I'm actually gonna need more blocks. I'm wasting so much time doing this. All right, so getting pretty close. I think this should be close enough to just ender pearl. Perfect. And we made it. So I'm hoping there's some good loot here. Ah, I forgot about these. Are they really chasing me? All right, so I made another shield. These guys are so annoying. Honestly, I'm gonna take some of these. This is the craziest fight I've had in a while. <laughs> Bro, there's some chests here. Bro, this reminds me of that one scene from Elf where he goes crazy with the snowballs. I have no idea what's going on right now. Finally, I killed all those shulkers. Bro, what is this? Uh, is this part of the game? I know I haven't played in a while, but why is this all in an ender chest? Dude, that is insane. I don't know if this is part of the map I downloaded. I literally just don't know. What is in here? This loot is insane. There's still so many shulkers. Yo, I need to get up there. All right, I'm using the blocks I have to bridge over there. Okay, I'm going to use this to my advantage. Yes, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna take this. Dude, the dragon head. Don't I look amazing? Yes, the elytra. Yes. Dude, look at this efficiency five. It's insane. It's better than what I had before. Yes. Wait, no, why did I put these on? Well, I guess we're stuck with those for the rest of this video. And I now have this beautiful elytra. Okay, I need to see, will these work? Yes, they work, okay. Make some more. Okay, so I should have enough to get back pretty easily, so yeah. Wait, is this another one? Is this different? Oh, this is definitely different, oh! We just found a second elytra. A beautiful diamond chest plate right here. Some gold, emeralds. Also a pretty good sword. Yeah, this is great. Found a second elytra. All right, so we're back at the base and yeah, this was a mission accomplished. Now that it was day 94, I decided to start preparing and organizing my inventory so I could go ahead and travel to that battle tower I saw earlier so I could go ahead and find some more loot. I guess I can put the dragon head like right here. Maybe something like this. I mean, maybe for now. I guess this can work for now. So I know I can get some more gunpowder here just by taking out these guys. This is so I can make some more rockets. All right, so I figured I'd just make some diamond leggings. Go ahead and enchant this. That's some good enchants. But yeah, we are looking pretty stacked. But just before this day ends, and this should give us a decent amount. That is a good amount of rockets. Honestly, if I can, I'm going to combine. Oh, because this, my old pickaxe had unbreaking three, so I think that'll be worth it. You know what, we're doing it. Let's go. I also think I'm gonna make a diamond axe. This will definitely be helpful in combat. Going to enchant it. Power four bow. In punch two. Now we can actually travel pretty fast. Yes. It's gonna save me so much time. And I can pretty much get wherever I want. So if I wanna go to this awesome boat right here, I can. I already hear a lot of mobs. I see the nether island right over there. Wait, I'm actually out of arrows. We're going back. <laughs> After gathering some arrows, it was now time to go to the battle tower. I could just go straight to the top. Honestly, I might do that. You know what? I think we have enough time to do some battling. Take out the spawner. I actually forgot to make a shield. Take this spawner out. Dude, nothing is spawning. <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining, but you know. Honestly, I'm going to leave the rest of these spawners alone because I can make some type of XP farm out of it. There's so many blaze up here. I'm just going to put torches. Why are there so many blazes?
I think that's all. Nope, that's not all of them. I'm out of here. The night is just beginning, so this is looking really bad. Definitely should have brought more torches. You know what? I'm out of here. Coming back during the day. Later. <laughs> okay, so it's the day again, and we're traveling back. And just like that, pretty much all the mobs are gone. I brought some torches, so I'll put those down. These blazes are definitely going to be a problem. I'm just skipping through all this. Why are there silver fish now? What is all of this? Finally made it to the top, and I am blocking this all off. Well, look at all of this. Yes, I will definitely take this. And there's two wither skulls up here. Well, let's go ahead and check out these chests. Oh, we have blaze rods. We can start a melon farm. Three blocks of diamonds. And a ton of lapis lazuli. Eight golden apples. Alright, we have another ender chest, even though I already got one. Uh, more diamonds. <laughs> what do we have here? Okay, we have more diamonds. More golden apples. Yeah, it's the armor trim. Dude, that's awesome. Alright, it was 100% worth coming here. I should be able to do some armor trims, which is part of the 1.20 update. After all that looting, I decided to go ahead and travel back to my base. Day 97, I started off by placing down the armor upgrade and the brewing stand, and then I started making more smithing templates so I could go ahead and use them on my armor. And now, if I take off my armor, put this in, put that in, and then I need some type of ingot. But I can't take off the boots. No. You know what? We're gonna do emeralds. Let's go. I'm also gonna enchant this helmet really quickly. And this armor trim looks absolutely amazing. It is unfortunate I can't get it on my boots because I do have the curse of binding. I mean, it still just looks awesome even without the boots done. For the rest of the day, I decided to work on the farm and gather food because I'd be taking on the wither soon. Alrighty guys, so I've done some preparing of everything I need to go and fight the wither and i think i know just the place this is this nether island oh my gosh got him there's magma cubes here there's literally so many ghasts i can't even get them all like do i even summon the wither with so many ghasts there's soul sand up here like, what is this don't get knocked in the lava just oh my gosh I really hate those ghasts. This might be worse than actually fighting the wither. I'm taking the soul sand and I'm gonna summon the wither somewhere else. I mean, they just keep spawning, I don't know. And where did all these, oh my, yeah, I'm not fighting any. Day 99, I was realizing that these 100 days were almost over, so I knew I had to kill the wither fast. Therefore, I decided to use a pretty simple trick to actually go ahead and do that as quickly and safe as possible. To do this, I needed to go back to the end dimension, and this trick requires me to go ahead and dig out a hole right underneath the portal back to the overworld. Once I had the hole completely digged out, I went ahead and marked the direct center of the end portal. I then started placing obsidian underneath the marker. It's very important that it is obsidian placed there because this will not work if it's not obsidian. I then took some soul sand and placed it on top of the obsidian. I grabbed the wither skeleton heads and it was time to place them on the soul sand. So we'll put the head there. Put one more. Here it goes. Boom. So did it work? Gonna... And he's exploding right now. He's actually dying. I can't take any damage to him. And this is the easiest way to kill the wither. This almost feels like cheating. It's so easy. But I just want to make it through the 100 days safely. And there we go. We've defeated the wither. He dropped the nether star, which was the primary thing I wanted. By the time I made it back, it was already nighttime, so it was now time for the 100th day. Alright, so I made an item frame, and I will probably just place it here for now. Put the nether star in it. Alright, so it is day 100, and the last thing I want to do is tame a horse, because we have diamond horse armor, and I just really want to tame one, I don't know. 
Luckily, I remembered an island that actually had some horses on it. Yeah, here's some horses right here. Well, I think we're gonna go with this guy right here. Colors on them reminds me of cookies and cream, Oreos. Hey, I can name them Oreo. Hey, second try. See, it is meant to be. This on them, we can actually write them. <laughs> Let's go, Oreo. I rode an Oreo back to my base, and I had to be pretty careful so we wouldn't fall off. And we have made it back to the base. Forgot why I named the llama, but you know what? Here's your new friend. Well, I feel extremely accomplished, and yeah, I'm super happy with how this turned out. That is the end of this 100 days video. If you made it this far in the video, I truly do appreciate you watching this entire video from the start to the end. So thank you all so much for watching this video. So this was a super fun video to make. And here is an overview of everything I have built. Remember to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments section if you wanna see a 200 days video on this. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one later.